October is going to be a month full of installations on my channel. I'm very excited. I have so many parts to install for the Type R, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. First and foremost, today I'm doing a much needed interior modification. For those of you who have a 2020 or a 2021 Type R, you've probably, you're probably starting to notice at this point that your steering wheel is getting a little grimy. Uh, yeah, this is looking like it's got a lot of dead skin cells on there. Kind of gross, and it doesn't it doesn't feel the same anymore. Oh yeah, that feels freaking awesome. And I haven't even gotten to actually grip it yet. Listen to that. This is real dry carbon on the top and the bottom, and it is a true flat bottom steering wheel. First things first, we need to make sure that the car is exactly where we want it for the install because the battery is going to be disconnected for this. So I'm just gonna turn it on. It already looks like it's pretty straight, but I'm gonna make sure it's extra straight. It didn't really need to start it, but the steering wheel looks pretty damn straight to me. Step two, disconnect the battery. Paint is looking fresh as fuck right now, boys. What's not looking fresh is this engine bay, but by the end of October, this thing it's gonna be looking really, really nice. Marco's gonna be painting a yellow valve cover for me. The PRL turbo inlet pipe will be installed, as well as the race math intake tube, and then a bunch of other little stuff here and there. Now I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes and then we will get started. I also got some brand new tools for this job. This is a master hex bit socket set. We're definitely gonna need one of these to take off the steering wheel, you guys will see. And then I also got a mini pick and hook set. Links to these as well as the steering wheel itself, which I got from King Motorsports, will be in the description of this video. So now we're gonna need a T30 hex bit. I put that on my screwdriver here. That's what we're gonna use to take off the screws that are in here on either side of the steering wheel. All right, just a warning, these are in there pretty darn tight. But it's coming out. Oh, well that's why. It had a little bit of Loctite on it. If my calculations are correct, this airbag should just come right off, and it is. Look at that. There are only a few more steps to get this thing off. Right here we have the ground wire, and then there's a green plug and a gray plug. For these ones, I'm just gonna compress. Okay. Now I'm going to try the green plug. I need to be careful because the only thing holding this in is the ground wire. Okay. Super important thing with this ground wire because I've actually spent like five minutes trying to get that off. It's going to be plugged on facing down like this. There is a little lever right there. And if you push on that, you're going to hear it release. And then you'll be able to just slide it right off. So instead of trying to like pull it out with brute force, you gotta get your thumb in here and pry that thing upwards. Now I just have to take off this white plug. There. Last thing we need is this little 10 millimeter hex bit. I'm gonna put that on my impact gun. Oh wow, there's a light on this thing. That's pretty cool. And this is in there with blue Loctite, so it's, it's pretty tough. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, so this is just not coming out at all. Boys, I called in some backup. <laughs> Definitely does. Okay, it's not, it's not pointed at you. <laughs> I am gonna use my torque wrench because I don't have a breaker bar yet. I don't know how I don't have a breaker bar yet, but I don't. So I'm gonna destroy my torque wrench to get this thing off. And I'll worry about everything else later. Sit in the car. With all the spiders? Yep. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold, yep, just like that. You're gonna hold this as tight as you possibly can. What exactly are you, you're breaking? Mm. It's as hard as you can. Ooh. There we go. I'm gonna give it a couple more turns and then I'm gonna use 
the impact drill again, see if that'll take it out. That thing is rated for 250 foot-pounds of power and then 400 foot-pounds of breakaway torque, but obviously that wasn't enough. Okay, thanks, Pip. Now I'm gonna go pick up Vivian Subway because that was the deal. <laughs> Will this be able to get the rest of this thing out? It's definitely struggling, dude. What a piece of crap. I'm gonna have to buy a new one of these freaking things. Damn, that is a fat boy, dude. Look at all the, that's not a blue Loctite, that's green. Maybe it's blue and it goes on and it turns green. I don't know. Oh crap, am I supposed to get this thing out of there? There, okay, that's out. Holding you guys in my armpit. Let's see, and she is out. All right, my friends, here's the moving steering wheel. This is what the back of it looks like. A little close up of the stitching. Looks like they did a pretty darn good job. Damn, this perforated leather is beautiful. Here are all the tools that I'm gonna be using. First, we need our Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna take out this one, this one, that one, and that one. And then this is holding in a ground wire. We'll do that last and then I'll slip this one out. Now for the ground wire. And now that should just slip right out, out this side. Cool. Now this should pop right off. Okay, this is where the plastic trim remover comes in. There. What is this stuck on now? Oh, there are these clips. That's right. You can take them off from the inside, it looks like. There we go. Damn, these little uh, picks are about to be my best friends. Oh, look at that. That was super easy. All right, now for this little shit. There's three little prongs making a triangle. We have to push those prongs in so that the bolt can go through. Because right now the prongs are like this. So we need to push them in. I'm going to try something that I saw a Torque Toolbox do. Well, there it is. It's off. <sighs> okay, I've come to the conclusion that if you want to do this and not mar any of your stock parts, any of the stock trim on the steering wheel, you should probably just order all new trim because I'll tell you what, dude, they did not design this stuff to be removed. Now we're onto this part. First, you're gonna press down on this thing. I'm just using a Phillips head screwdriver to press down and you're gonna hear like a tiny little pop that's because it's breaking through that styrofoam rubbery compound right there. And then you push in on that one. So I got that side out a little bit. This is what the other side looks like. And I'll show you what I did. Hear that? I'm gonna press it over here. Press harder right here. What a pain in the butt this is. Now for this beautiful Mugen steering wheel to get installed on the car. Oh yes, brother. Look at this. Doing everything in reverse order. I'm really gonna take my time with this piece because I would rather this not break. I'd rather be able to use everything on the car today, especially because this is my only car right now. Okay. Wow, this is not going in very easily. Oh, that one just clicked into place. Really guys, you just have to freaking squeeze this thing in there. Okay, next is this thing. This is the one that I am worried about. I did bend a couple of these a little bit when I was pulling it out, so I need to be careful. God, look how beautiful that looks. Freaking amazing. Making sure everything's lined up here. There we go. Look at that. Oh my god, that looks so nice. Thank you. 
There are a bunch of things back here you need to make sure are lined up. I think everything's on. I didn't hear too many clicks, but that's all right. You can feel this. It's Mugen. It's not Mugen, it's Mugen. Mugen. Fuck, it's heavy. Feel it. Does it feel good? It's rugged. I'm gonna slip this wire back through under this little hook. Now for this other ground wire. Sweet! It's all put back together, guys. Take a look at this work of art. Holy moly. I'm so excited to drive this car around with this new steering wheel. This stuff needs to go right through here. Okay. Give it a little press, make sure it's in there. This guy is gonna go back on here. Now, here's my big bolt. Damn it. Now, I don't have any markings on this one to know. I think it was something like, oh crap, I think it was something like that. Let's rock and roll. These two markings are supposed to be over here at about two and three o'clock. Yep, that's as far as she goes, man. Piece of crap. Frickin' DeWalt. Should've got Milwaukee, I knew it. <clears throat> I'm almost there, guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is where it was. All well, these clips are back on. Now I need to twist it this way, I think. Yep. Yeah, brother. Just like that, the Mugen steering wheel is in the Type R. Oh my god, that looks so good. I am already in love with that. It's much more bulky. Just the fact that it has real dry carbon on the top and bottom. With that little Mugen logo. I'm gonna go drive it around, but first... I obviously have to reconnect the battery. That was actually the first time I disconnected the battery in the Type R. First drive with a new steering wheel. We're off. By the way, my rear passenger tire is leaking. It's a very slow leak. That was only at like 22 PSI. Oh yeah, dude. This steering wheel feels freaking awesome. How do, dude, I always get so amazed at how the smallest modifications make such a big difference. Like the weighted shift knob, this is the stock shifter with the Ascend Racing weighted shift knob. And that was incredible when I put that on and I still absolutely love it. This steering wheel, oh my goodness. This feels perfect. Car should have came with this from the factory. Or, you know what dude, they should have offered like a Mugen steering wheel from the dealership or the factory, whatever. I mean, you might as well. $700 aftermarket. <laughs> dude and to top it all off it's 83 degrees here in Riverview Florida at 3 in the afternoon so this is usually when it's the hottest we are a few days post Hurricane Ian right now and it's still the weather is just immaculate I love it it feels like fall is in the air this is already one of my favorite modifications I'd say right now my top three modifications are you got to have an exhaust system on this car the steering wheel, and then probably the wheels. Those are my three favorite modifications right now. The shift knob will be number four. What a difference this makes. I love it so much. The perforated leather, it's, it's not 
two. Okay, hold on. Oh boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my God, this is an amazing car. Steering wheel feels great though. That was only one turn, but I think the perforated leather helps a little bit with grip. Uh, I don't even want to touch the carbon on top or bottom. That's just so beautiful. Good job Mugen with the steering wheel. Guys, I highly recommend this modification. Shifts are freaking aggressive in R mode. I'm so in love with this car. Every time I add a new part to it, it makes me love it more and more. I forgot one thing. I didn't make sure if the steering wheel controls worked or not, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Wait, what? Interesting. The car is still freaking out because I unplugged the battery earlier. Wait a minute, okay. So I already know this stuff works. I already did that earlier. Volume up and down. Just a bunch of static, but all right, that works. And the cruise, yep, all that stuff works. Awesome. Here's some close-up footage of it in the car. This is just, like I said, one of my favorite modifications I've done so far. I think it would have been really cool if it came with replacement parts for all of this trim right here, because now it just kind of looks a little bit off, but that's with any aftermarket steering wheel, in my opinion, for the Type R. That's okay though. I'm just being super picky for no reason, but okay, I'm gonna get out of the car now. And lastly, I'll have some nice pictures of the steering wheel on my Instagram. Also, uh, I'll give you a tree update. I submitted a fallen tree removal request with, Hills with Hillsborough County. God, that's hard for me to say. Damn. Yeah, it's probably only like a 15 foot tall tree. And my next door neighbor's house is still for sale. It was pending for a while. And now it's, I don't think it's pending anymore, but if any of you guys want to be my neighbor, we can do a bunch of installs all the time. Yeah, there it is. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in a couple days.